parenteral dosage calculations. So parenteral is just a fancy word for a medication that's administered in any other way than gastrointestinally. Um, <clears throat> so essentially the dosage calculation, since we're using dimension anal dimensional analysis for all of these sections are gonna go pretty much the same way. So I've got an example here. A physician orders 50 milligrams of an intramuscular, intramuscular injectable solution. In stock, we have a vial of the solution with a dose strength of 100 milligrams per two milliliters. And we wanna figure out what the volume of the in stock solution should be administered. So volume, that's the milliliters. We're trying to figure out how many milliliters we should administer. So I'm going to make my right, conversion factor based on the on-hand dose, right, what medicine I have. Um, so I have 100 milligrams per 2 milliliters. And I can put the milligrams on the top of my conversion factor, or I could put it on the bottom. So I want to end, what do I, I'm going to ask myself, what do I want to end up with? Well, I want to end up with m volume, milliliters. Um, and the doctor ordered... 50 milligrams, so that's what I'm going to write down, 50 milligrams, and I need to convert this to milliliters using, or convert this to milliliters using my um, on-hand dosage, or my on-hand dose strength. So I'm going to multiply this just like we did in the last section. I'm going to put the milligrams on the bottom because I want them to cancel out, and the milliliters on the top. So the milligrams cancel out, right? And then I just have to do 50 times two, right? Times two with 100 on the, divide by 100. And I have, I ended up with milliliters because everything else canceled out. And when I multiply and divide, I get one. So the patient should be, or you should administer one milliliter of the uh, 100 milligram per two milliliter solution.